St. Johnston's got a fight to the end. The Turks have arrived in Perth. The young Turks. Hopefully, I mean, what personally what I would just do is see that whatever hotel Galatasaray staying in, I would just feed them dodgy kebabs tonight. So it means tomorrow they're fucked. Then they have to shite themselves and it'll be an easy win for St. Johnson. Clean up on the pitch. St. Johnson through to the uh, playoff rounds of the... The, um... Of the Europe League. Now, let's be real. Look, St. Johnson were good in the first leg. Should have won, in my opinion. Didn't. They were held. Pulled back to 1-1. I think St. Johnson... None of this foul play nonsense, right? This is a team that done the cup double. This is a team whose manager, right, was robbed the manager of the year. This is a team that pumped out Rangers. And more importantly, they've got the best goalkeeper in Scotland in that. So you tell me... And a solid defence. So you tell me why... Give me ten reasons why St. Johnson cannot knock out Galatasaray. Ten reasons? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, give me one. Well, they can't. Right. I, I don't... I think they can. So uh, I can't... If, you know, the fact you can't even give me one reason, like, I mean... Well, I mean, there's a golfing quality, but I just feel like... I just feel... I feel like... I mean, I was going to say outside of the old firm, I feel like they're the only team that can get the job done in Europe. Even though I know it's only been one game, but I, I don't know. I just feel like with Davidson, their cup runs... Yeah, I just feel like Galatasaray would have beat Aberdeen. Yeah, I feel like they would have beat Aberdeen or Hibs. Anyway, speaking of Davidson, he's come out and says a quote. A lot of people... I know, I, I, listen, right? right fact, not, not right. cares what I, honest, I honestly think... People care more about what no, you honestly think rather than what Davidson think. I honestly yeah. think What's St. Johnson would have did better against Midgeland and Malmo. Than uh, I honestly think. think people want to see us in Johnson Master League, but here... No, right. So, what do you think about that? Do you think St. Johnson would have did better? I don't think St. Johnson would have conceded four goals to Malmo over two legs. How many Celtic they concede against Midgeland? Uh, three, four. Three, four. Three. Not four. Three. Four. Three, one, one, and two, one. That means three. And the other one was an extra time, technically, so but two and a half. Anyway, Davidson's come out and said, quote, a lot of people in sport realised how good a result it was. Again, it's going to be so tough. We must keep fighting to the end and give ourselves a chance to get a result in-game. A club like St. Johnson is 2,700 season ticket holders compared to a team like Galatasaray, who have millions and millions of followers. It's a big ask, a big goal... And if we manage to get any sort of result, it will be a phenomenal achievement for us. Uh, unquote. So there you go. I mean, that's what Calm Davidson seems to think. It seems to me as if he's playing down the expectations here. He's, you know, he's definitely portraying St. Johnson as the underdogs here. And he's right to, I think he's kind of right to do so. I mean, he doesn't want to set himself up for a fail and be like, oh, we're going to smash Galatasaray and go through and then not do it. But, I mean... I honestly wouldn't consider that much an upset if St. Johnson go on and beat Galatasaray. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, definitely, but it's one of those games that could end 1-0 St. Johnson or 5-0 Galatasaray, and I wouldn't be shocked that way. Definitely. Uh, team news, defending captain Jason Kerr is expected to be fit after a knock he picked up in the first leg. That kept him out in the weekend there with the Dragons. Mullerwell, but he's going to be back for this game, hopefully. Uh, Craig Bryson remains sidelined, while Charlie Gilmore... Um, has only just returned to training, so he won't be available. It's a shame it wasn't Billy Gilmore, or my, my hopes and faith for St. Johnson winning would have drastically went up, but it's not. It's Charlie. The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you in McDermott Park, brother. Yep, so, um, uh, it's St. Johnson defender Calm Davidson. The, uh, not the manager, by the way, the <laughs> defender. Wait, is that, wait, wait, they've actually got a defender called Calm Davidson. Aye. Uh -huh. That's fucking awful. Where else would you get that? They've got, a, they've, got, they've got a midfielder called Murray Davidson as well. It's pretty fucking Davidson getting all his, eh... Uh, anyway, right. The fuck, who cares what he said, right? It's not about what he said. No, it's, no. it's about what we said and what we're going to go with in the predictions. I'm going to, I'm going to stick my neck out in the line here, right? I put faith in the old firm. I put money on the old firm. And they didn't deserve a single penny, right? Mm -hmm. See, tomorrow, or today, tonight, tonight, whenever this goes uploaded, I am putting money on St. Johnson. And my money says St. Johnson will win tonight by one goal to nil and advance into the playoff rounds where they will probably play Danish side Randall. So that's what I think. Um, I prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, Galatasaray. Do it. I'm going to go with a nil-nil draw and St. Johnson to win on penalties. With Sander Clark making a few saves. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. Maybe I'll Been there, done well. that. Got the t-shirt. Uh, yeah, Callum Davidson's never lost a cup game. Is St. Johnson manager? He's going to win the Europa League. Might as well, fuck me, man. That's a better run than fucking Celtic. Quadruple treble. Screw that. I know. I mean, it's all about the cup double and 
a draw in the first game in the Europa League. That's what it's all about. All right, guys, there's the predictions. I'm going 1-0. He's going 0-0 nil -nil with St. Johnson on penalties. We'll see what happens in the game. Hopefully St. Johnson get through. Worst case scenario, they get pumped and, you know, they drop into Europa Conference where I'd fancy them having a good chance of making the group stage. So anyway, guys, that's it for this uh, preview. Till next time. Peace.